year two, let's do some maths. Today we're going to be counting up different coins and notes that are in these jars. Now in your home learning packs you should have two sheets that look very similar to this. That is what you're going to be to be completing in today's session. Okay, so on the screen here, I'm going to do some examples with you so you know what you need to do. I want you to think about the math skills that we've learned in school to add up because those are going to help you find out the answers. So think about your partitioning skills, your counting in um, fives, twos, tens, those sorts of things. Okay. Right, let's get started. So let's have a look at this first jar. Now I can see some pound coins and then some pennies, some pence. I think it will help me if I count the pounds all together first. So here is a two pound coin and a one pound. Now I know two add one equals three. So two pound add one pound must equal three pound. And I'm going to write three pound at the side here. And you can do that too on your sheets. You can write in the space around to help you so you remember. So there we have three pound. Now let's count the pence, the other coins that are left. Now I can see a 50p and a 10p and a 2p. So we've got 50p add 10p. Now I'm using my um, fact families and I know 50p or 10p is the same as 5p add 1p. So 5 add 1 equals 6. So 50 add 10 must equal 60. So we have 60 add 20. And again it's exactly the same. 60 if we do 6 and 20 change that to 2. 6 add 2 equals 8. So that must be 60 add 20 must equal 80. Here we have 80. And don't forget to put the P for the pence. 80p. So we have £3.80. Now the way we write it, we, if we have pounds, we always need to put a pound sign. Okay, that's what a pound sign looks like. We have three pound, then we need to put a dot so we separate the pounds and the pence. So we have three pound and 80p. There we go. Mine doesn't fit in the box. Right, let's have a look at the next one. Here I can only see one one pound coin. So straight away I can write one pound do my pound sign and one because that's how many pounds I can see at the moment. Now let's count the pennies. I can see a ten pence and another ten pence. Well straight away ten out of ten I know is twenty. And then we've got some two peas here so I'm going to use my counting in two skills to help me count those. Two, four, six, eight. So we had a twenty and an 8, make those number sandwiches, 20 and 8, 28. I'm going to write 28p here in this space. There we go. So my answer, I've got £1.28. So I need to put my pound sign in. And we have £1. Don't forget to put the decimal point spot to help you. And 28p. There we go, £1.28. And then this one, let's have a look. Oh, so straight away I can see two two pound coins. So I know two add two equals four. And it's exactly the same. Two pounds add two pound should equal four pound. So I'm going to put that there to help me. And then we need to count the rest of the coins, the rest of the pennies. I can see so these are all ten, uh, 10 pence coins, not 10 pounds, 10 pence coins. So I'm going to count in tens to help me. 10, 20, 30. So 10p, 20p, 30p. And then we've got a 2p, 30, add 2, 32. Add another 2, 32, 33, 34. Add 1p, 35. We have 35p. 
let's write it there and then let's put our pounds and our pence together four pound thirty five so remember we need the pound sign we have four pound we need to separate the pounds and the pence and 35p there we go so that is what I would like you to do today. So on your sheets, you've got these different jars that you are to complete. You can use the real coins or the ones on the sheet that are in your home learning pack to help you. Okay, well done.